I've been looking at all the social media posts of these at-home workouts during this time when the <laughs> shutting down gyms and uh, looking at all the influencers who are making these at-home workout videos. I've already spoofed them. Now, if you think this is your only option during this time when gyms are closed, you've been looking at Instagram too much. So <laughs> a lot of these influencers are our friends who are showing off like these sofa lifts and these chair squats and stuff. This isn't your only option during this time. And me and Tom have another thing that you can do in order to stay slim fit during these difficult times. Tom, what do you got to show them? That's my home gym. I just found an empty building and put a bunch of stuff in it. I've seen a few odd posts lately on the Instagrams. And I mean, Larry's and Julian Smith and Chris Bumstead, those are just kind of funny. They were just poking fun because those guys have a gym, we know that. Oh, man, the real good ones are in the hashtag Home workout. We got 2.4 million posts in this. This lady has uh, put dishwasher detergent on the ground and is now using it uh, as a makeshift treadmill. Please don't do this. Just going like this. Can't you do that on any slippery surface? A whole hell of a lot of people doing core exercises on a yoga mat. And we're actually gonna give you guys some, some body weight stuff if you don't have any home gym equipment. But stuff that I like, more like uh, gymnastics stuff, that's uh, more skill-based, more fun. I saw this lady with a watermelon earlier. There's this guy's holding his dog as weight. Dude, your dog, this dog weighs two and a half pounds. You could just use a bag of flour, right? A bag of rice. These, all these fitness people have rice. <laughs> I can almost stretch here. All these people using pets, are they adopting these pets? Are they fostering these pets just to, <laughs> just to get a workout in? Like, hey, foster a pet today, man. You got, they'll act as weights too. See, that's a good idea. Nine months from now, the babies are gonna be massively increased, right? And they're gonna be Corona babies, corners, I think. But then you could also use the baby as a workout material. All right, this dude, he's using Tide Pods. Fireplace, is he gonna tell me how to be a millionaire next? This lady just put a bunch of clothes in a suitcase. C couldn't you put anything heavier? It, it, this thing weighs maybe Maybe six pounds. I really appreciate this guy, Arash Rabar, for, for making these do-it-yourself dumbbells and talking about it. This cardboard with the toothbrush, you can really tie it to anything and get creative. Seriously, dude, go to your grandma's basement, grandpa's basement, go to Craigslist. You can get a dumbbell for free or for $2. And then it sits in your house and then you use it in the next, next pandemic. I'm on a kombucha-only diet right now. A kombucha to the side of the mouth, actually more effective. Before we had our big YouTube boom, Juju and I both had home gyms in very small spaces. I had one in my patio in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, if I can have one there. 75 bucks. And then the bench was uh, 80 bucks. So yeah, it's about, about 450 bucks for all this stuff. No excuses guys, set up a Set up a wearer to work out in your home or your garage. You got space for it, man. And Juji had it in his apartment, a rack, and his was a little bit overdone. I'd say his was a little extreme. If I'm doing a workout, just uh, one that is just kind of like put the work in, but it, there isn't much emotional involvement inside of it, I'll just do the reps. And in between sets, I will just, you know, work on stuff. John, it looks as if you put your gym stuff all over your house. Does that mean I can put it anywhere? Go, 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 lift. Bodybuilding is all about looking at yourself a lot and visualizing what you can become. Thank you all for supporting us and who bought this shirt. I'm a YouTuber now, look at me. I'm a YouTuber now. I wanna show you my tricep room. You can also cook in my tricep room. So right here we have a dip station and we can hook bands up to this 
awesome little chandelier and do sturdy tricep push downs. <laughs> I originally had this room just for triceps because every room in my house is going to be for a different body part but I just decided that I had all this extra room in this room uh, for other stuff so that's why I kind of built a kitchen around it so I got a microwave now I got a stove I got a sink who uses a dining room anymore Travis do you still use a dining room I do not usually for uh, storage and folding laundry maybe having a dining room is nice but for most people who have a dining room, they're either using it for something else or it's just a big empty room where you can put a bunch of gym equipment. In fact, I had a dining room gym in my first apartment. It was 150 square feet, which is about 13 or 14 square meters. And I just put a power rack in there and a bunch of other gym equipment. So I wanna show you the powerlifting room. The powerlifting room is also my living room because I live to power lift. Oh, there you go. That's actually quite heavy. <laughs> yeah. I guess you don't need that much weight. It would be even more effective if you picked more effective exercises if you don't have enough weight. Watch this. A little body English row? A little, a little pendlay row. And then they started a new season of Westworld, but I have no idea what the hell is going on. Oh, that started? I don't know. I can't remember, man. It's been so long since I watched season one and two. How's this? I'm out of breath. This barbell. It's a piece of crap. You know, I've had this since I was like 15 years old. Oh, it works. And the, look at the plates. This, this is like the worst plates imaginable. Look, look at this. It's got like something growing on it. What do you think? But it's still heavy, right? Oh, it doesn't get lighter over time. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> you want to lift? We got your warm up weight. Cool. I think he needs chalk. I mean, it's either this or up and down my driveway, but. You know, I figured this way I wouldn't be bugging my neighbors as much. Ah. Oh. Travis, Woo. you know I trained my grip strength in the bathroom. Everyone bought all the toilet paper already. It's gone. Uh, so I just put some grips, grippers here. So I just, just squeeze it out right here. <laughs> Gotta keep your chest proud. I have to, I always imagine like this is the guest bathroom. If Brian Shaw or Thor had to come here and use this guest bathroom, They'd at least be able to close these grippers, I know that. <laughs> the truth is that you can make any room a gym room. A dip station next to your microwave, or clearing out some furniture, a living room for a barbell with some plates. Um, if you have a basement, I mean, there's a lot of guys that lift in their basement. So, I mean, you have a garage gym. I do. I actually, my Jeep broke down, 96 Cherokee, super sturdy. Yeah. Uh, broke down, had some empty space in the garage with nothing to put in it. Mm -hmm. My wife, Kelsey, was excellent. Let me sell the jeep and get a garage gym and so you sold a car to build your gym 100 percent. and tom's had a patio gym oh. like in the back of a brooklyn apartment in new york like this little 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 area back there You're like oh we were just talking about him yeah wow <laughs> wait where's tom anyway He's hiding from the coronavirus <laughs> is he, i don't know if he, is he hiding tom where are you and what are your options for working out right now juju did you put put all your gym stuff around your house how long did that take? Uh, some people are really blessed to have a garage gym or a big gym already, but you just need a little space. Let's check this out. Okay. We got, got a vacuum. I brought 20 pounders, brought a 35 pound kettlebell, 30 pound dumbbell, uh, brought an easy curl bar, some tens, fives. Uh, that's for my forearm massage. That's from back, that's from my forearms. And uh, got some more weights, some bands. Collars. This is basically all you need for arm workouts. A yoga mat would be nice just to, or puzzle mats just to have a space, but today I'm gonna do a arm and back workout and the arm workout is gonna start in here cause it's warm. And then I'm gonna transition to uh, the garage, which I, I have a few more things in. Here it is, all its glory. This is my garage setup. We have golden marble, it'll be painted. <laughs> My barbell of choice. I have some 45s, 35s, and I got some grip tools. It's a little dark. A belt if need be, but probably not going to be need bees. Don't worry, everyone up inside. It's cold out here. And if you, if you garage them, it's cold. It's nice to warm up inside. 
His muscles should be warm. Take it from, take it from me. Well, I'm lucky enough to have a barn gym, which is, which is fantastic to have during this time when gyms are closed. But I haven't always had all this stuff. So I started out working on my dad's garage with a barbell and some plates. And then I moved on to having an apartment dining room gym and then moved on to having a garage gym. And now I have a barn where I have my gym equipment. But to start, I think if your budget is like, what do you say, Travis? Like 200 bucks. Yeah, say 200 and under. 200 and under. You can but, make a lot happen there with that. Right, with 200 and under, I don't think a barbell is gonna be anything that you can touch. So what you really need is a pair of gymnastics rings. So I've always done a lot of training with these. In fact, there was a year where I didn't even have a gym membership, 2012. From January until November, I didn't have a gym membership the entire year. All I did was deadlift on the barbell in my garage and go to the park on my lunch break three days a week and hang up rings on a swing set and do ring exercises. That was actually one of the best shapes I've ever been in my life. In fact, I'm probably gonna do something like that this summer is uh, go back to those basics and work on them. But a pair of gymnastics rings, well within a budget of 200 bucks. Aside from that, you can build some pair of elites, which look like this out of PVC pipe. I don't have any in here because I have a dip bar. Those, you, you get a kettlebell of one type of weight to do some kettlebell swings. You can get some perfect push-ups, some bands for band resistance. There's a lot of things you get for 200 bucks. Loadable dumbbell. You get one, and then you can load as much weight as it, on it as you want. So that's also another option. You get a couple of loadable dumbbells, standard or Olympic, and that's good as well. So you can also have a budget Past that, let's say 200 bucks, you go up to, what's the next? $600. $600 sounds about right. That's the threshold. Yeah, I think at that point, you got a lot more flexibility. Loading pin from Grip Genie at home. Yeah. I got a cable and a little pulley, uh -huh. or I've used my banister inside, and anything that you can get some leverage on and crank that uh, loading pin up, put some weight on, it works kind of like a cable. Like this loading machine? Like this loading pin? Exactly like that one. For, for 600 bucks, you need to start getting a barbell and some plates, get a used barbell, get used plates, Craigslist, um, govdeals.com, have you heard of that? Yeah, govdeals.com, apparently. If, if you're lucky enough and they got some deals in your area, you can get a treadmill for like a dollar. Yeah, I've seen some really stupid stuff on there. Oh, the gymnastics rings, because I'm serious about those guys. Gymnastics rings are great. They can build a lot of muscle and strength, athleticism. They are like, muscle ups are like the upper body deadlift, in my opinion. It is an awesome exercise. So you should get those, even if, even if the gyms are open when this video is released, you need to get a pair of gymnastics rings, throw them in your gym bag. Yeah, I sold my Jeep for 1200 bucks. Yeah, 1200. Yep, put oh. 500 towards credit cards. Kind of be semi-smart and get some uh, some bonus points with Kels. Yeah. Uh, and then I had a lot of fun. I spent, I got the barbell plates. Um, I had some leftover plates, because all I had before that was a curl bar. Yeah. I made myself do that for 90 days. Figured if I didn't quit doing that for 90 days, I could justify making that next step. And that 90 days gave me some time to save a little bit and help my budget as well. Okay, there you go. You sold, I can't believe you sold a car for yeah, your gym. That's great. Gym. And it gave me the room. I had no yeah. car in the garage. Desperate times called for desperate measures. Absolutely. What what do I would have had to sell for a thousand dollar budget? Hmm. But uh, Tom is going to have some good recommendations for squat stands, power racks, and things like that. He's been doing a little research on what you can get for a thousand dollars. Check that out. I think the main thing is that what's missing from a home workout from that these influencers are recommending to you versus what you can get at a gym is load. So like maximum tension. So either get that with more weight or you get that from changing the leverages. So a Rings, for example, changes the leverages. You can do planches or weird holes or things on that, which are really hard from like a leverage standpoint. Whereas a barbell, you can just load it up with as much weight. You can't get that lifting a sofa. You can't lift that holding an ottoman and doing squats. But let's say, you know, you don't have any of that equipment yet. Or you just ordered it. You gotta wait a week or two weeks because delivery times are messed up right now because the, uh, the transportation systems are... Uh, dude, I looked at Amazon the other day and I was just trying to buy like a meat plate <laughs> and it says, Order it the next. Uh, order it within the next hour, and you're gonna get it. It's like 15 days from now. 15 days. Yeah, that was Amazon Prime. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was like, "Because the essentials are needing to be delivered right now." I understand it makes perfect sense, but delivery times are a little bit messed up. So you're probably gonna have to wait, no matter what you go out and get. In the meantime, if you're having to do body weight exercises, I do have some recommendations. One is don't count reps, count time. So push-ups, instead of going like 50 push-ups, do push-ups for two minutes. Rest, pause. So you rest, you do some more. You rest, you do some more until two minutes passes. That's gonna be hard as hell. 
right? Absolutely. I think that's gonna be a lot, yeah. a lot harder than counting reps. And then you do like four sets of two minutes. You've gone to failure multiple times and passed failure. That's actually gonna, that's actually gonna give you some pretty good training. Like split stance training, is it martial arts? Martial arts, dude, I'm a black belt. Trained in a room with just a bunch of puzzle mats with no equipment all the time. And um, we didn't even need sparring. We we're talking about kata, just like punches and kicks for reps and stuff and just as hard as you can. Martial arts are great. Um, I wrote a flexibility book, Legendary Flexibility. You don't need equipment for that. Uh, you can't swipe up, it's YouTube. <laughs> this is a perfect time to train flexibility. You can get full splits like in a couple months from zero. If you train it right, with my methods, you can. For that, all you need is a chair and like a strap for maximum training advantage. There's a lot of options you have for body weight training that aren't lifting a sofa or a chair or something. And then gymnastics exercises, like core exercises and stuff like that. Tom has got some of those he's been doing a lot. I forgot about that. Tom, what you got? Is this what you feel like when you're filming these things? Oh, cha cha. There's a gymnastics variation that leads to a straddle to handstand. And you can do it against a wall or you can do it freestanding. But it's kind of like a hanging leg raise, but without a bar. So you can start it with dead. There's the... Uh, what is this, dead, dead person, dead fish, dead, dead fly? What is this, dead horse? I like this because it head, trains headstands, you get balance, you get flexibility, and you get core strength. So, go up in the headstand, take your time, and then you come down. And if these are too easy, you can always put your head up higher and then have to reach lower with your feet. And you can do them straddle. They're a little easier. You can just do knees up. But I like them because they're, they're hard and they train a bunch of different things at once. Try them on your back first, please. My last recommendation is to keep track of your workouts as well because it can seem kind of pointless when you're training at home with these body weight exercises that you've never done before because you're used to deadlifting and squatting. But we don't know how long the gyms are going to be closed for. They could be closed for another four days. They could be um, and then reopen before this video is even posted. But they could be closed two weeks or four weeks or four months. Who knows? Probably not four months, surely. I sure hope not. Surely, hope, hopefully not four months. Everyone's going to go out of business. Um, guys, if you have a, uh, a membership to a small gym, don't cancel your membership. you got to support them. You know, if it's like an LA Fitness or something, then, you know, they're a bigger corporation. You know, who knows what the ethics of that are. But if you're like a member of like a small, like home knit gym, don't cancel your membership. Help them out because there's a lot of small business owners that are suffering at this time. Tom? What is your last message to all these fine folks that are stuck at home right now? Regardless of what we've done here or what you've seen us do, what we've recommended, do anything to work out at home. You can find millions of ways. It's just gonna be healthy and your mind won't implode. Reddit gets boring when you're at work. YouTube gets boring when you're at work. I mean, if you're on the 1800th time on r slash hentai, dude, just, just work out a little bit. I'm telling you, next time you go to that subreddit, it's gonna be even better. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of ethical uh, things about this whole coronavirus gym shutdown. And one more message I wanna, I wanna make is, guys, if you have a garage gym, don't comment below like, oh man, I got this garage gym and screw everyone else, I was prepared for this. That's arrogant and mean. Actually, I feel a little bit bad working out in the gym at this time with all my stuff and posting stuff online because like guys can't get their workouts in for legitimate reasons at nice gyms. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right. Travis, now we're gonna work out in this gym. Oh, now it's game time. <laughs> now it's game time. <laughs>